Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have um, a combined video. I ordered, a t technically I ordered three different advent, cal wax advent calendars from three different vendors. I've already filmed and uploaded my um, Super Tarts 25 day advent calendar. Now the other two were only 12 day advent calendars, which is why I'm putting them together in this video to make it, you know, a substantial video. Um, so, and also these are, again, one's an American vendor, one's a Canadian vendor, um, and so on and so forth. So before we get too much further, and I know it's chipping, but we'll never be Royals by, uh, is it Color, Color Club? Oh my God. Seriously, it's like my favorite, it's chipping right now, but seriously my favorite color. Um, it changes from like purple to red. Like, look at like, right when I just did that, like, it's like red, purple. I just love this color love it um anyway that's i'm excited okay. I, I found that at winners for 5.99 i looked up the canid can't nail polish canada and i think that brand is sold there and i think it's about 12 or 13 dollars canadian so i feel like i got a pretty good deal while i was at winners so anyway first off we'll start with Tallulah and poe which are all the ones in the white bags here so the 12 days of christmas that just means that you're going to get 12 pieces of wax to open from december 14th up to and including the 25th of December. So uh, Tallulah and Poe is a Canadian company. I'll give you a moment there to take a look. I've ordered from her before. She's great. Um, uh, this is the first advent I think that I've ordered from her. I think it might be the first time she's done one. I can't remember if she did one last year. But I try to share the love and I went with a different company from Canada before and then this year I went with Tallulah and Poe. So anyway, there you go, there's a screenshot. Now she sent three samples, which is very generous of her. So this is Tallulah and Po. Okay, so they're all Tallulah and Po. Cheers, which is sparkling raspberry champagne and cocktail. So there we go there. This is really nice. I wouldn't say there's a fizzy pop note in there, but there definitely is an awesome raspberry champagne type scent. And I really, really enjoyed that. Next sample I received was Cafe Cubano, Sweet Cream, Strung Espresso, and Cuban Tobacco. This is a not is as strong, it's not as strong as I would uh, normally have thought for a coffee scent, at least not on cold. I love this little bean shape, it's so cute. But I definitely get the, the Cuban Tobacco is definitely something I get more of, but I'm looking forward to melting this one and seeing how it does as well. Next up, we have Festive Fireside, which is Christmas tree, candy cane, and marshmallow fireside type. It's fireside type. That's that the one. This is lovely. Actually, I get the marshmallow fireside and, the, and, the, and the, more of the peppermint and less the Christmas tree, which is okay, because like Christmas tree can be really overpowering. So that's okay with me. So those are the samples. And let's start with day one. Um, what I will say for both Tallulah and Poe and for the other company, Rainbow Melts, which we will get to shortly, is Rainbow Melts is more of a st an established company than Tallulah and Poe. But I won't, I'm just saying this, I said it to the Super Tarts, um, although they're a much more established company with many, many people, employees and so on. Now, these ones are one lady, you know, shop owners type thing. But my thing is, especially with Tulul and Poe, I'm hoping that each season she is able to get a new uh, mold to do more Christmassy type themed things. So I'm hoping in the future she can grow her company. So the shapes that you're about to see, not a lot of them are very Christmassy. Um, so anyway, uh, whereas Rima Melts, you're gonna get lots, like everything is Christmassy. She is a little bit more established. Uh, might get a repeat or two, but yeah, what I really wish for both these companies is that they will do a 25 day Christmas advent wax calendar. I've done that before with Rainbow Melts. I think she just got overwhelmed and it is a lot of work. I will say I, from what I can tell, um, the detail that goes into it, the thought, the process, I mean, we're talking months and months before she even like any of these companies would launch, they would have to have all their blends ready and all their oils in and things like that and molds for you know shapes and such. Um, but what I would love to see from these companies um, next year in 2020, or this year, 2020, because I am filming in 2020, is I would really enjoy to see them do a 25 day advent because there's just something fun about, you know, 25 days and opening. That's just my own personal opinion. 
So we have day one for Tallulah and Poe. They all the bags look like this. So I'm not going to bring them up. Basically, this is day one. This is sugar, sugar, which is sugar cookies, cinnamon clove, vanilla, vanilla bean Noel. Super cute. Mm, it's actually really good. I think because of all the others with the cinnamon um, bean, cinnamon is strong, but not as strong as if you hadn't thrown in the sugar cookies, clove, vanilla, and vanilla bean Noel. So I'm looking forward to this. There's two little gingerbread men or people, ginger people. Um, in there and then day two has the same shapes. I'm not gonna bring those bags actually I'm not gonna bring the bags. They all look the same And then we have all things spice which is chestnuts brown sugar cinnamon clove vanilla and zucchini bread Two of these little ginger people again Gingerbread persons. This is actually really good. I, I like the um the gingerbread in this one or I guess it's zucchini bread hmm. Yeah, zucchini bread. I like all right, day three. We have pink Santa, which is pink sugar, candy cane, vanilla bean Noel. This is really cute. Look at that. He's so cute. Um, I also can appreciate there's no like major spark sprinkles or anything in these because I find that the really fine spring, uh, sparkles and that to sink to the bottom of my warmers as they're melting and then I do the freezer method and it's really hard to clean up. Some, sometimes some it just seems it hits hits hit and miss this one's nice it's it's actually quite on cold it's not potent so I'd say like on cold it only is giving me a four out of ten so I'm hoping that when I melt this it'll stand out a little bit more day four we have strawberry Noel which is sweet strawberries vanilla bean Noel oh this smells so good <laughs> I love this one this one smells excellent really enjoy that can't wait. And of course, uh, the 12 days of Christmas is, are a lot less expensive as well. Like I think the Tallulah and Poe, words is Canadian dollars. So you Americans out there, you can order from Canadian vendors like Tallulah and Poe. Your shipping is like probably like almost like, compared to what we have to pay to get stuff over from the States to Canada. You guys pay are hardly a thing. Um, and also when, <coughs> pardon me, I'm still getting over a cold. Keep in mind when you're buying Canadian dollars, your dollar, your money is worth far more than ours. So even if you say, see a sampler box like this for $35 Canadian, it's take about 30 to 35% off of that price. And that is what it is in USD. So pretty nice. Now this one's one of my favorites. I've had this from Tallulah and Poe before. It's lemon shortbread, zesty lemon curd, decadent buttery shortbread cookies. This one reminds me of Lake Providence Lodge lemon biscuits or I can't remember the name of it, but it was like, like lemon bar type, like shortbread. I think it was just like lemon shortbread. This is so, so good. Like w this is something I would love and it's not a cleaning lemon, but this is something I would definitely warm on a day that I'm cleaning that I love still bakery in the background. So good. I would actually re recommend to get that on its own. Like obviously if she, when she pours that one, it is one of my favorites, especially if you like lemon and you like bakery. Next one we have is winter wonderland, pine needles, warm spices, oak moss, orange, and lemon. So that's what that looks like. I definitely get the pine needles and maybe a bit of the moss, but we'll see. I think uh, we'll take a, you know, obviously we'll review it once it's melted. So let's see how it does. What all there, you never know what scents come out once they're melted too. So then we have day seven, which is the drunk elf, which is mulled apple cider, caramel drizzle. Now this is just, a, there's two of the exact same hearts. See, this one's a bit more ooey gooey for me. I would probably put these in my bathroom just because they are very ooey gooey. Um, because it's definitely caramel drizzle for sure. I get that before I get the mulled apple cider. But if you like ooey gooey scents, that would be one of them. Uh, Santa Paws, hence Paws, sugar cookie, chestnuts, and brown sugar. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Oh gosh, this smells so good. I get more of the sugar cookie and the brown sugar. This is delicious. Like one of these would go really well in my bathroom as well, like the, the size, but in my living room, I would probably put two per, but I only have three. So we'll see what we, I end up doing there, where that ends up going, I should say. This one is almond cookie, which is toasted almond and cookie dough. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
this doesn't even, I don't even smell almond. Like I know like marzipan, almond, you know, that like pistachio. This smells like coconut cookies. <laughs> this smells like coconut cookies and I love it. And it's a two-toned, uh, oh my gosh, snowflake. I can't even think right now. All right, so now we're on to day 10. Cup of Cheer, Creamy Coffee in Decadent Caramel or Caramel Drizzle. This one is definitely ooey gooey. It reminds me of something, I can't remember which one it would be from Rainbow Melts actually. It's very similar to, but there is definitely a caramel for sure and then a wee bit of coffee, but I prefer mine the opposite. I want my coffee to be super strong and my um, anything else to be kind of the backup, but that would be something I would probably chop in half and melt on a like weekend morning or something. Then we have day 11, what's your favorite color, which is fruits, sponge sugar, caramel, super sweet vanilla. And you guys, I love this one. This is not caramel ooey gooey. This is like cotton candy, stick your head in a jar of white sugar. Oh my God, it's so good. So there's a solid green piece and there is a pink piece. And last but not least, we have day 12. So two of these little ginger people. Tis the season, Vanilla Bean Noel, which is right here. So the, you one would think that you're trying to dupe perhaps Bath & Body Works. It's very, very faint. It's not super strong. I don't smell it as much on cold. So I'm hoping that when it like cures a bit and I melt it, that when the heat hits, the, when the wax hits the heat, as Sasha says, or I'm sure she says it differently, but basically my generali generalization <coughs> is that the heat can definitely change a scent. Okay, next up, now we have Rainbow Melts. This is her card. So again, I will hold this up for a bit. Rainbow Melts is um, a company from the United States. Crystal is the owner. All of the information you can do, a screenshot or a pause or whatever you need to do. This is a company that I have been buying from for almost three years now, pretty much almost the whole time I've been into wax. Really enjoy her wax. Like Super Tarts, she, her wax, it's less is more. Like a lot of these pieces, that the bigger pieces that she sent that you're gonna see, I could probably chop up in quarters and get such a throw um, and just use one little quarter of the piece for my warmers. And her shapes, I'm gonna say, she's a little bit more established than Tallulah and Poe. So she's got a lot of great shapes. There are some repeats I would like to see maybe, you know, cause there is only 12 days. It would be nice to see different shapes each day, especially if you're just doing it 12 days. But um, I love her wax, I love Crystal, she's great. And she's also getting doing a restock on January 18th, which will include the cookies that she named after Ramon and I and our excellent adventure in uh, the state of Texas last April. So you guys pick the scents of those cookies. And anyway, she's got she's gonna have those available. I want to buy two um, two sets because I would like to want, want to keep and one to obviously melt. So anyway, that's Rainbow Melts. Now what I will show you, and I didn't even see this because of course I'm just like I open it. Okay, it's great, and then I put it away, and then I just pulled each day. And never thought of this. So in American dollars, it was $35. That included the um, shipping, and as you can see here. I didn't see this. She gave us a $5 off your next order code using Mary5 at checkout. So I'm gonna keep this. I had no idea. So I, like I just said, her restock, so if you're gonna buy from Rainbow Melts, Rainbow Melts, my mouth, Mary, M-E-R-R-Y, five, the number five. Um, for $5 off of our next order. So I'm keeping this around for when she does a restock on the 18th, absolutely. Now, <coughs> first off, she sent some sample, or like a sample. She sent this sample in plum tart, which is plums and warm vanilla crust with hints of citrus and bakery cinnamon. This is a nice light bulb. It's actually really nice. I don't get, like I get more plum, like I'm, and citrus, which I'm very, I'm very much enjoying. I'm actually feeling this is nice and tart with the plums and the citrus. Definitely are the two things that come out. And this is definitely something I would look at purchasing on its own uh, in a larger form. This is really good. Like I really wanna melt this soon before the 18th to see, mm, yes, anyway. Oh, I should also say that in, not only was the box full of the stuffed wormies, there was this nice little sachet and she had them filled so it was chronological so the first one you would pick would be near the top and she had it done perfectly so that was great um and then that was a sample and then there was a candy cane 
and a Skittles, but because of my diet, I've been eating. Anyway, we'll talk about that in another video, but I, I, I can't wait to have them someday. And then I didn't see this until after all the wax melts were gone. Like I said, I just opened it and I started just taking out per day. The bottom of the box under the wormies was this little nice little sort of, um, not velvet, but that kind of style, um, set like a little sash. And in it was a Chap Ice lip balm, Medicaid lip balm, and two little candies that were totally cute. Deck the halls and a little snowman. So that is super cute. <coughs> totally didn't see that right away. All right, so we'll go from day one to day 24. Again, this all, you would open your first one on the 14th day of December. I'll show you the bag on the first one. So she labeled them for like 14th and onwards to the 25th. So I won't have to show you those over and over again. So Frosty Days, which is Icy Peppermint, Eucalyptus, and Juniper Berries and Sage. This is really good. Oh, it's so good. Actually, a great bathroom scent, because like, oh yeah, it's so refreshing. No, I really like that one. And day two is probably my favorite shape. Like these are so cute. This one's Sleigh Bells, which is Silver Birch and Blackberry Jam. I think I get the Silver Birch. But look at that, look at how, like, a decent size. Again, I could cut that up in quarters if I wanted to, and I know what, that will get a great throw from it. But how pretty is that? Love it. I don't get the blackberry jam on cold, but again, you never know until you melt them, right? Next up, we have mistletoe. This is day three, technically, <coughs> or December 16th. Mistletoe breeze. Fresh, crisp mis mistletoe and downy, clean breeze. There's something about this I'm not really enjoying. I, I think it might be mistletoe. I think, it, and that, I'm trying to think, I think I've had, there was something I got not not long ago that I think had mistletoe in the title that I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that. Um, and I think it might be the mistletoe, but that's okay. It's definitely a good, like a good bathroom scent. I would chop that up in quarters and again, it would be great for the bathroom. So December 17th. We have one gingerbread person that has no buttons or faces, and then we have one, I pulled out the one that has a smile on his face. Ho, 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 gingerbread cookies, brown sugar, cream cheese icing. This is good. I get the gingerbread and I get the brown sugar, which is good, because I'm not a big cream cheese in wax scent. I find it to be almost sour sometimes. <coughs> so, anyway, needless to say, I like that scent the way that is. Look at this mold too. Oh, he's such a handsome fella, isn't he? Oh, another 11 months away. <laughs> Making a list. Cranberry apple marmalade and French baguette. I definitely get the apple. More apple than cranberry. So the apple and then the baguette, of course, because it's bakery. So baguette is just a French small skinny pastry, which is bread, basically. That was nice. This one's balsam and cedar and soft cashmere. This is a good bathroom scent because it's nice and fresh. I no longer have a Christmas tree out anymore, so um, this would be something that if I did, or if I saved it, I would save it for next year, but I'm not into saving my wax anymore. Like I'll likely start melting, like, like you're gonna start seeing an empties um, from all three of these advent calendars that I purchased throughout the 2019 season. So this is December 20th. This is another one of those light bulbs like we showed earlier. This is a stocking stuffer, which is peppermint candy canes, cotton candy, and vanilla icing. So there's this one. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, it's everything sweet, but not ooey gooey. Peppermint, cotton candy. That's what I get, it's peppermint, cotton candy, vanilla icing. Eh, it's probably, you know, just like the everything else blended together. So we got a couple little sprinkles within the gingerbread person. Joy, coffee, sweet pumpkin bread, and butter brickle. On the ooey gooey side for me, but what I like about this is I get more espresso. Like I get more coffee, which is good. I, like I said earlier, I prefer a strong espresso or coffee scent followed by other, other scents that are in the mix. So I actually like this one because the ooey gooeyness of the butter brickle is definitely, way, you know, like 30%, uh, <coughs> <coughs> at least on cold. We got December 22nd, which is another light bulb moment. This is Silent Night, which is flannel sheets and sugar plum berries. This is really lovely, you guys. 
This is another one of those scents that if I could get in a loaf, I probably would buy a loaf and chop it up and use it in my bathroom and in such a good way because it's such a fresh scent. It's the flannel sheets. Holy crap. Crap on a cracker. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. This would be Christmas, or sorry, <laughs> December 23rd. We have a snowflake and a snowman, but I thought I'd bring the snowman out to show because you haven't seen one of them. Warm Wishes, which is orange cranberry muffins and caramel and brown sugar hot and holiday cider. This is really nice. I actually get the cider, followed by the caramel, so that's a bit strong. But I'm looking forward to melting this because I definitely get more of the cider note that comes out of it first. And then... Christmas Eve, the 24th of December, Santa's Sack, Strawberry and Buttercream and Sugar Cookies. This is really good. This is like, oh my goodness. Forget the cookies. It smells like an amazing strawberry smoothie. <laughs> oh my gosh. For a straw, I don't know, strawberry cake with buttercream whipped or buttercream icing. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. That smells amazing. And last but certainly not least, we have Christmas Day. And the only difference on this particular bag was Merry Christmas. She put it on the 25th of December, which is a nice touch. This is Yuletide. I'm going to make this less wrinkly. This is Palo Santo Christmas Trees and Fireside. Now, Palo Santo is very popular. It seems like as soon as it hit one vendor, it, every vendor got that oil. And they make it with so many different things. And people like Sasha, who's amazing at blending, has come up with some amazing blends with the scent Palo Santo. This is good. I don't get any, I don't get any fireside actually. I get mostly Christmas tree in the Palo Santo, which is like a manly scent. So this would actually be good in the bathroom because it's a really nice fresh scent again. So there you have it guys. <coughs> Pardon my coughing. I would absolutely buy from all the vendors that I purchased from uh, this past year, 2019, for uh, Advents. What I would wish for, as I mentioned before, I'll recap, is I wish both these companies would do a 25 day of Christmas. I know it's a lot of work and a lot of planning. Um, but I don't mind paying, you know, doing the pre-order in September so that they have lots of time to get all of their, you know, their things in, get some more, um, uh, trays like different shapes so that they're actually more of a Christmas shape kind of thing I think that would be great and I want to support these companies these are companies that um so Super Tarts, Tallulah and Poe, Rainbow Melts all of these advents I get such a great throw in my house from so I have no problems purchasing this this is a treat to myself at Christmas time I love advents I also love sharing photos with you guys on my Instagram because that's every day I would rotate every day I would specifically rotate so who got the first page of the screen and second and third and fourth and what have you <coughs> so just to be fair so I really enjoy this guys I hope you guys enjoyed this too I hope like it's a surprise we don't know what we're getting you know you can only generalize to think that some of them might be like more Christmassy type scents which especially with rainbow melts, I would say so. A few uh, over here at Tulu and Poe are, uh, are Christmassy scents. But keep in mind, Tulu and Poe is a, a fairly new vendor in general, whereas rainbow melts has had a bit more time. Um, I think she's got probably a lot more followers than Tulu and Poe. Um, so she's just growing her stuff here. And they're both women and they work the, the, just themselves. I think um, Crystal at rainbow melts might have her husband help her pack but these two ladies do it all. So kudos to them. I know it's hard work. I know it's a lot of work. So I want to thank both of them for all their hard work. And I look forward to seeing what they have available come uh, holiday 2020. And hope to see a pre-order where we can buy these advent calendars in a 25 day by September. So that way it gives them time to get all that stuff. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and say thank you guys very much for watching. As always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.